Hey everybody, it's Katie with Factory Direct Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how to make this succulent rock garden. This is a super easy project and really fun to do with kids. What you're going to need is you're going to need one pot, you're going to need some potting soil, some small river rocks, some larger rocks, green acrylic paint in a few different shades, white acrylic paint, a sponge brush, and a paintbrush. So once you get all of your materials together, let's go ahead and get started. The first step in this project is painting your large rocks in a, a variety of different green colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose this rock. And you're looking for ones with a nice kind of rounded shape and more flat, that's the better shape. So once you have your rock, you're gonna go ahead and choose a color green. So for this one, I'll do this. And you can just apply the paint directly to the rock is what I've been finding is just the easiest way to do it. And then use your foam brush to spread it around. Kids love this project. It is so fun for them because they get to play with paints and it's a really uh, easy, simple way, but they end up with a really cool finished product. Okay, so you start by just painting the top side because we're gonna need to lay that to dry just like so. And when that is dry, you're gonna go ahead and flip it and do the bottom and the sides, let that dry again, and then if you need to apply a second coat, you can do that as well. Um, as you can see here, I have three. This one, the second coat is still drying, so I'm gonna go ahead and work with these two that have been drying overnight. And we're gonna move on to the next step. So the next thing we need to do is add little cactus details. So I'm going to make two different patterns. I'm going to do one with polka dots and one with kind of little X's on it. Um, doing different patterns with the white helps the ca little cactus succulent things to look more um, realistic. So I'm just going to put a little dab of white paint on my paper. And to do the dots, I'm actually going to use the end of a paintbrush. And I'm going to dip it in the white paint, take my rock, and I'm just going to start dabbing in different places and this is going to keep all your dots a similar size and it keeps them nice and circular they just will look really clean or it's way harder to do it with a paintbrush this is especially a good technique if you have little kids helping you out okay and i'm going to go ahead and do the sides too and then we're going to save the back until this side is dried And we'll do this side, and there we go. So you can see, super simple and really, really cute. Okay, and for the next one, we're gonna make those little X's. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a very fine tip paintbrush for this one. I'm gonna roll that in the paint so we get a nice, clean tip. And I'm just gonna start making my little X. Now these ones can be in different shapes, uh, not different shapes, but different sizes, and just kind of a more scattered look. There we go. Try to keep that tip of your paintbrush nice and together so you get a clean line. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to set these aside to dry for a few minutes and I'll show you what to do for the next step. So you're going to take your pot that you're going to be planting your little succulent rocks in and fill the bottom half with dirt. So I just have potting soil in there and then I'm going to take these small kind of river rocks that I have and I'm going to pour a layer on top of that. So it looks like it's filled with the river rocks but you're saving saving some money by using the potting soil because you don't need to fill the whole thing with rocks. 
but this gives it that look. And then once your little succulents are dry, I'll go ahead and just show you with this, even though it's, it's freshly painted, you're just gonna stick it down in the rocks and plant your little garden just like that. So there you have it. There is your finished rock succulent garden. I hope you guys have a lot of fun with this project. Thanks so much for watching.